Hi guys, welcome back. Today we deal with a case of retinal vasculitis. We have started using a 23 gauge MIVS system. We are clearing the blood in the anterior vitreous and then we proceed to clear the vitreous hemorrhage. As you can see the hemorrhage is not red in color, it's yellowish colored hemorrhage which means it is dehemoglobinized blood which means it's been a long standing hemorrhage in this eye. Here you can see that we separate the posterior hyaloid from the surface of the retina using gentle suction. This is to ensure that the vitrectomy is complete and the job is thoroughly done. So here in India we do see a lot of cases of retinal vasculitis which means that there is inflammation or swelling in the blood vessels of the retina. This is more common in males who are usually in their 20s and 30s. So retinal vasculitis is the most common cause of bleeding inside the eye in young adults. There have been plenty of studies which link retinal vasculitis to either a past or ongoing tuberculosis infection in the body. If left untreated, retinal vasculitis can cause retinal detachment and a profound loss of vision. So in this patient, we decided to go in after a month of waiting for the vitreous hemorrhage to resolve. As you can see in this patient, there's a lot of fresh bleeding which we have controlled using an endodiathermy or an electrical cautery which stops the bleeding inside the retina. This young man has already been lasered in his retina to control his retinal vasculitis as you can see in those black marks which are there on his retina but unfortunately even after laser he has still bled. The vitrectomy is completed and the loose blood is removed. As you can see, luckily the retina is not detached and his central retina looks pretty healthy. So there's a good chance that he might make a complete visual recovery at the end of the surgery. We then do laser to the retina using a very fine laser probe. The white spots that you see on the retina are the fresh laser marks. In retinal vasculitis, the swelling of the retinal blood vessels actually blocks some of the retinal blood vessels and that is shown by the arrow as sclerosed blood vessels. So we do apply laser to the diseased retina to prevent any further chances of bleeding in the eye. There may be multiple patches of sclerosed blood vessels in the retina and so all those areas are covered with laser. At the end of the surgery, the eye is filled with air. This helps to maintain the shape of the eye and also prevents oozing from the smaller blood vessels. Since this is a MIVS system, we simply remove the ports and usually they do not require any suturing. Thanks for watching. Cheers.